नमस्कार वंस अगेन वॉमली वेलकम इन एकेडमिक सेशन ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ की फैक्टर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन वन मोर एडवांस लेवल प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग सो सी द अमाउंट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग पर्टिक्युलर्स सो द ऑप्टिम प्रोडक्ट मिक्स एंड स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी सो पर्टिक्युलर ए बी सी एक्सपेक्टेड प्रोडक्शन एंड सेल्स इन यूनिट्स selling price per unit direct material per unit 5 kg 3 kg and 4 kg direct labor per unit 4 hours 3 hours and 2 hours then variable overhead per unit it is given in the rupees fixed overhead per unit rupees 10 in each product then price per kilogram of raw material labor our rate and maximum units for possible sell in the adjustment in manufacturing of all three products material used is same and labor is uniform give the production rank when direct material and direct labor are limiting factors determine production mix when labor hour is a limiting factor and 18600 labor hours are available and also find out profit see in this example two limiting factors are available one is direct material and other is direct labor in the other hand the most important thing is direct material is given in kilograms and direct labor is also given in the hours so we have to calculate material cost by multiplying kilograms and rat per kilogram same in the labor so this we will discuss in this example so whenever it is example of key factor first always we have to calculate contribution per unit so statement showing contribution per unit particular product a b c selling price 60 55 and 50 less variable cost it is direct material material cost we can calculate by multiplying kilogram and rat per kilogram so it is 20 12 and 16 direct labor it is 8 6 and for variable overheads 7 13 and 8 so total of the cost is 35 31 28 28 28 so per unit contribution s minus v so it is 25 24 and 22 after this we can calculate contribution as per key factor so point number 1 production rank when direct material is limiting factor so here we can calculate contribution per kilogram is equal to per unit contribution divided by per unit kilogram so for the product a contribution is 25 and per unit kilogram is 5 so 25 divide by 5 it is rupees 5 in product b 24 divide by 3 so it is rupees 8 in product c 22 divide by 4 so it is rupees 5.5 now the production rank on the basis of key factor contribution so particular product a b c per kilogram contribution it is rupees 5 8 and rupees 5.5 5. 
so we will give the rank on the basis of this contribution so the highest contribution is in the product b so the rank is 1 the second highest contribution is in the product c so give the rank number 2 to the product c and the lowest contribution is in the product a so the third production rank is given to the product a now we can calculate contribution for the second limiting factor so production rank when direct labor is limiting factor here we have to calculate contribution per hour so contribution per hour is equal to per unit contribution divided by per unit hours product a 25 divided by 4 so it is rupees 6.25 for the product b 24 divide by 3 so it is rupees 8 and for the product c it is 22 divide by 2 so it is rupees 11 now on the basis of this uh, per hour contribution we can give the production rank so particulars a b c per hour contribution rupees 6.25 rupees 8 and rupees 11 the highest contribution is in the product c so again the first rank is given to the product c the second highest contribution is in the product b so second rank is given to the product b and the lowest contribution is in the product a so the third rank is given to the product a now we have to calculate optimum production mix and profit so for that we require total fixed overhead so first we will calculate fixed overhead so in the example the fixed overhead is given per unit so we will calculate total fixed overhead by multiplying units and per unit cost so product a is equal to 1800 multiply 10 so rupees 18000 in product b it is 3000 multiply 10 so rupees 30000 in product c it is 1200 multiply 10 so rupees 12000 total fixed overhead rupees 60000 now we can calculate optimum production mix when labor hours are 18600 so total available hours 18600 first rank we have given to the product c so first we will produce product c so less used in production of product c we can maximum produce 1500 units of the product c so 1500 multiply 2 it is 3000 second rank we have given to the product b and maximum possible sell of product b is 5000 units so 5000 multiply 3 it is 15000 so remaining 600 hours are available for the third product it means product a so the units of the product a is equal to 600 divided by 4 so 150 units so this is the optimum production mix product a 150 units product b 5000 units and product c 1500 units now on the basis of this production mix we can calculate profit and already per unit contribution we have calculated so directly we can calculate profit with the help of contribution so statement showing profit as per the optimum production mix so particular and rupees contribution in product a 150 units multiply 25 so it is 3750 contribution in product b 5000 multiply 24 so 120000 and contribution in the product c so 1500 multiply 
rupees thirty three thousand. Total contribution one lakh fifty six thousand seven hundred fifty. Less total fixed cost rupees sixty thousand. So profit ninety six thousand seven hundred fifty. So as per the optimum production mix, company can get maximum profit. And it is rupees ninety six thousand seven hundred fifty. So in this video, I have discussed the example of key factor, and the key factor is material or labor. So in the next video, we will discuss some more examples. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you again in the next video. Take care. Have a good day.